How are you doing guys, Zeta here. So I wanted to share my first impressions on Final Fantasy 16. I want to say that I did not yet finish the whole game. I'm taking my sweet time with it as well. You know, I'm accomplishing all the side quests, the progression through the story, collectibles and many, many other things because I'm aiming for a platinum trophy for this game because mainly the reason is that I am really, really enjoying this game, seriously. Now, unfortunately, I do have some few gripes with this game, but I don't feel like that they're a big deal to be to be honest with you. But I gotta say, man, there's so many positives in this game. It's genuinely an immaculate kind of experience that you can definitely have. For example, a beautifully and very, very stunning cinematic spectacles, not just in terms of the gameplay, but also during like QTEs cutscenes that you'll be part of those, you know, moments, especially when you're fighting as the dominant if you know what I'm talking about then of course you know but yeah so many boss battles and fights fighting sequences it simply is such a visual aesthetic such a beautiful beautiful look seriously it's incredible I'm genuinely I'm like in awe right from all of this Okay, now, I want to say, you know, since I've begun with the positive, I want to get to the negative as well. Okay, so some of the, well, areas, quite a lot of areas, unfortunately, in fact, there's a lot of frame rate dips, like in performance mode especially, because like I'm noticing, I feel like I'm going to get sick at one moment because I feel like there's so many frame drops, I'm getting nauseated a little bit. It's weird. But other than that, I didn't really have that much of an issue. I definitely want to mention it, but because, you know, I know it's going to get fixed over the some few patches. But since I'm experiencing this game now, you know, I'll still mention some of the negative stuff I'm having with the game. Now, okay, so since I mentioned a negative, let's get into a positive. I love the characters, right? I love how differentiated they are. You know, I gotta say, man, this storytelling of so far that I've experienced is similar to like Game of Thrones. There's so many backstabbing going on, betrayals, uh, friendships, uh, some romance moments, such real characters that you definitely will believe. It's awesome. Like, I love this. It's so gripping, so like like kind of grips you into the mood and the story of how it progresses through it's genuinely well done now since that is the positive for me let's get into one other negative so some of the side quests that i'm noticing since i'm doing all of them right yeah <laughs> some of those dismal side quests are unfortunately present in here especially the way that they've been designed there's a lot of cases just simply fetch quests really but Maybe it's just to be expected, but also, should our standards be that low that we just simply have to accept it? So I'm on, I'm gonna have to mention it because it is definitely a negative. So story, like I mentioned, is truly gripping at some a lot of points, in fact. But also, I really like the combat system in this game, and I think it really works. I think it looks like a genuine fun, especially if you want to have like a little bit of an accessory, right? Uh, basically, placed for your character. That he, you all you need to do is mash one button, and your character does the majority of the work while utilizing many different varieties of, you know, abilities. I should say, and it's so cool, like the way with the visual aesthetic that it looks is like maybe a little bit overdone in a lot of cases but i think it's awesome like i loved it and you know i'm purposely i took off these accessories you know i want to kind of get the grips with the game as soon as possible because i'll be playing it once again on new game plus mode final fantasy mode so obviously it's gonna be much tougher experience by the way guys um, there's two options that you can choose, like, you know, going through the story mode or basically the combat mode, right? Like basically an easy mode or, or medium mode. I highly encourage you to go with a medium mode. Uh, I made a decision to start on the easy mode because I wanted to concentrate on the trophies because I still will be replaying the game on the hardest difficulty. But I feel like I made a mistake because some of the cases, they're a little bit too easy. And I think I should have actually made or made a decision to go into the medium mode at first. But yeah, just so you know, for the future reference or if you're starting up playing this game, yeah, I think on medium mode is the best option. So I love the English uh, localization. I love how the characters sound. They genuinely have differentiations, how much they genuinely do sound and they sound fantastic, phenomenal. Voice actors are doing an incredible job with this game. I love the outstanding and very cool 
a like kind of soundtrack that it's got here as well. Okay, so since I mentioned a few of the positives, I'm gonna mention one, just one last negative. The RPG system, I don't think it's well done. I actually kind of, I contemplate to think about, but I think it's actually kind of a negative because what is the point of having in here? RPG is really minuscule. It's like it's super light. I'll uh, I'll say this is an RPG light, like right. And it's just kind of sucks that they didn't utilize this. And you know, being that Final Fantasy VII that I played the remake, the RPG was a lot more well serious in tone, if that makes sense for that game. Here in this game, mm -mm, this is more or less of a backbone. It's something like an afterthought, unfortunately. Okay, so. Like I mentioned, there's a lot of varieties of kind of approaches that you can go with this game, right? For example, like I mentioned, New Game Plus mode, Arcade mode, and so many others. It makes it so much more appealing for replayability value, and I loved it. I love this game. It's phenomenal. You know, if I would have had to give it a score so far, it definitely would be a 9 out of 10. And, uh, man, it's just a little bit more time in the oven, so to say. It would have got that performance issues like frame rates issues out of the way and would have been i think it would have been a 10 out of 10 for me well guys that's all i wanted to mention regarding my well more or less a first impressions my review will be coming out sometime soon a few more days like i said i'll be taking my sweet sweet time with it i want to experience everything that this game got in store uh, for me to enjoy of course to see and to check out to experience and hopefully you guys are having a fantastic time as well. Since this is impressions and again with the review, I have not mentioned and will not mention regarding any of the story spoilers because there is quite a lot of spoilers going on here. Whew, damn. But anyway, <laughs> that's all I got for today. Do let me know what you think about this game. Did you pick it up or not? And so on and so on. All right, like and subscribe. See you guys all later. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. Yeah.